It's in advance. <laughs> Even if it's the only applause I get. Um, Salute so goes out to John here. John's our laugh booster. Yeah. Uh, this way I don't have to strangle everybody else when you get no laughs and you're like, what does it take? What does it take to get you guys to laugh? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Um, so my special for today, I'm just going to add in, in case I can't get you to laugh, I'm going to add in a cartwheel. <laughs> Um, so at least I get some kind of applause. Um, so, none of you can! Anybody want to try? Handstand? Alright. Just keep it up. Um, anyway, um, so, um, so, um, this guy this summer, he wanted to date me. Uh, but he's married. And don't worry though, I don't have to stalk his wife on Facebook and make a fake Facebook profile because they're polyamorous. Which means that they're married, but they fuck other people, but they tell each other about it. Um, and the thing about these people is they always think that they, their way is the best way and they've got it right. It's like Einsteinian, right? We're gonna stay married, but fuck other people and tell each other about it. We're winning the Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> All you people who wanna just date one person, you're simpletons. You didn't even pass high school. You probably are lucky you passed the third grade. You're dumber than Renee who can't pronounce names. All you people who want to have one guy or one woman. Good for you. I've never done a drug in my life. People just think I have. Anyway, so, um, I ended up uh, trying to be his friend and being nice to him because he likes my stand-up and thinks I play tennis well. So that's all it really takes to get me for anyone's uh, FYI, <laughs> PSA. That's what it takes to get me to like you. You just have to say my stand-up's good and I play tennis well. Um, which is pretty unusual, believe it or not. Um, so then he's telling me, and basically dealing with him is like being a an unpaid therapist. And he um, he's telling me that like, his son has been bullied in the schools. I'm like, really? Your son goes to school in Tribeca. What does that mean, bullying in the richest zip code in the country? Well, they took his gluten-free bread and they waved wheat bread at him and said, you better eat it. And They told him, you're a boy. There's no such thing as a gender neutral person. You're a boy. And then they waved a Snickers bar at him. They're like, screw the not free environment. And then they told him that they're moderate Democrats. Screw you. We don't feel the burn. We voted for Hillary Clinton. And we're going to burn <laughs> then he transferred his son to a school in Chinatown where they said the same things but he didn't understand it so now he's fine they said Ying, rung, 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 rung. but he doesn't know that it all means the same thing they said the same things to him and his wife he tells me his wife doesn't ever want to have sex with him and she just lies in bed eating junk food and that her night sweats are getting to him well thank you so much i really need to know all that <laughs> and big surprise his wife is becoming a therapist but i bet her therapy her mode of therapy to deal with stuff of lying in bed and eating junk food is going to be much more popular than the traditional therapy. <laughs> and so, um, where was I going with that? Yes, and um, 
Oh, really? Only a minute. So I um, also have a friend, and he's one of these hardcore Republicans, and he's like, if you can't make enough money, it's your own fault. You're just not smart enough, and you haven't worked hard enough. And big surprise, his kids are in their 30s, and they live with him. <laughs> He's their financial aid, so not on everybody else's part, but he will provide for his own kids. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's my time. <laughs> Woo!